Uh, this is Don Fidel. I was working on this image and I wanted to share something with you which you may not have realized. Um, and that is, if you take a look at the suit, it, it, it's rather wrinkled. And I'm, you know, common situation, you know, once you put some, once you put clothes on, especially wool suits, um, they're going to tend to wrinkle. So how do, how do you deal with that? Well, if you think about it, there really isn't any difference between wrinkles on skin and wrinkles in clothing. Because basically what a wrinkle is, at least in the retouching process, is a highlight next to a shadow that you don't want. How do you deal with that? Well, you know, dodging and burning has been the traditional way of dealing with it, and, and that's the method that I use. You know, there's all different methods to doing dodging and burning, and you know, I, I tend to use a combination of them. There's the uh, using levels, using a 50% gray filled soft light layer, or the method that I used in this case, and the one I generally use, which I find the easiest, is to use a soft light layer that's empty with a very, very low opacity brush, say 3%. I'll confess to you, I don't see any difference between this method and using a 50% gray layer, other than this method is a lot easier to clean up if you make a mistake. You just take an eraser brush and erase it. With the 50% layer, you have to paint back with 50% gray, and to me, it's just a, an unnecessary step. So anyway, I'm not done with this. I just wanted to show you um, that's this is the, the the point that I'm at right now and again just really briefly I'm going to add a layer I'm going to make it soft light I want oh, there's a reason I'm pulling this under here I'm going to show you this in a second so I'm going to go in here and attack some wrinkles I've got some dust on my screen here so default colors a 3% brush and I'm just going to, and it, it helps if you paint in the direction of the material. So I'm just going to alternate between black paint and white paint and try to get some of these wrinkles out. And so on. I'll turn the size of the brush. And the idea is to blend the, the highlight and the shadow so you don't necessarily see it. And you can take this how, whatever level you want, how much time you want to spend on it. Now there's one final thing that I did here. Um, this layer here is just a layer of paint. If I just turn this layer on, you can see it's very faint right in through here. What I did was I sampled at a 10% brush, and this is a normal layer in normal blend mode. I just sampled, and this is what I do with skin all the time, I sampled a gray color here and I just painted it. And it, it, it tends to even out tones. Now you can't apply it too heavily. You notice that I'm, I'm not quite at 100% opacity, but that tends to also help smooth things out. And then, like I, I normally do whenever I apply paint, I add some noise to it. Uh, we'll paint in normal mode. And um, anyway, that's my tip. If you like what you've seen, I've got a tutorial. It's only $20 till the end of the month. It goes over retouching everything from a still life to uh, portraits of, of varying levels of complexity. None of them, it's not, they're not beauty retouches, um, but they're what I run into in, in most situations. So if you like this, check it out. Again, it's only $20. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.